right. <sighs> Hey everyone, is this Morthal of the fun swamps and everything? Man, they've got a lot of death bell out here, huh? Whew, jeez. There is a whole lot. I thought it was just one little patch, but I forgot. This place is crawling with death bell. <laughs> <laughs> When we had last left the last Dragonborn, they had ventured to the College of Winterhold after a strange and mysterious, but uh, unearthing? <laughs> an, ex an expedition in which they unearthed a strange <laughs> artifact at Sarthal. They returned to the College of Winterhold, where they met with not only the Archmage, uh, Oh god, what was his name? Avo Seren? Something like that? <laughs> uh, to discuss the artifact, but several other uh, college members, where they were given the duty of looking into it. <laughs> yes, they had to discover more secrets regarding this strange artifact and recover some various books and all that. But nonetheless, they decided, F that, they're going to go retrieve the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller because it was time at long last to fulfill the super duper cool wish of the Greybeards. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. There we go. You'll see we are in Bre inside of Breeze Home. I've done a little bit of rudimentary inventory management. Our carry weight is down a bit. Most importantly, Ilya's carry weight is down quite a bit. And we've uh, cooked up a little bit of food. Forgot that we had the food stashed. A lot of the salmon is stashed at Riften. But, eh, I, kind of, I was kind of eager to play. <laughs> so I just did, like, rudimentary inventory management rather than crafting and all that, right? All right. Let us eat a little bit before we head on out because we do have a mission, so to speak, right? Let's eat. Let's just eat a salmon steak. There we go. Okay, let us head... Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Leave it. Good. We're going to grab a horse and haul our ass all the way up here to this marker to claim the Lord Stone. And then we're going to hopefully Skyrim our way down this little, like, mountain into... Well, should we hit up Morthal first and then get the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller? Oh, you know, we could make a pit stop in Morthal. Maybe that's a smart plan. Wow, it didn't even occur to me. Should we hit up Morthal? It's right there. I mean, I was kind of thinking about hitting up Solitude for the uh, Thieves Guild stuff. Yeah, let's do Morthal. Isn't there an inn there? I can't remember. There's definitely some wild ass shit that pops up there though, right? Is that the one I'm thinking of or is that Falkreath? No, I think it's both of them, right? Both of them have some wild ass shit. All right, let's do it. I think that's a great fucking plan of action. Head on out. There we go. Farewell, Lydia. Hold down the fort. Have a good one. We've decked out the house. Where, where did Lydia stay beforehand? Oh shit, who is this? Are they here to speak with me? Severio Pelagia. Good to have you by my side, friend. I need reliable people around. Who are you? You're a cabbage and potato man. You should buy some produce from Carlotta's stall. Most of it comes from my farm. Oh, he must be a farm worker over here then. Wow, so every early morning does he run into town to sell off his um, his produce to the market as, as the market begins to open up. Wow, that's so fucking cool. Man, I love that. I love that, that so many of the NPCs now have like these programmed routines. I fucking love that. That, that's so fucking magical. <laughs> Is it, I mean, it's totally unnecessary. Like, I wouldn't mind. It's similar to, like, um, like going inside of every building. I appreciate that you can go inside of every building in Skyrim. Definitely you could in Oblivion. In Oblivion. In Oblivion. And I think you can here in Skyrim land, too, just as well. Let's do a quick save in case someone sees me. There we go. We're good. But yeah. It's not required, certainly. I would never look down on any game for, like, deciding, yeah, we don't want to put in 
like a million bazillion useless ass <laughs> interiors that really have no value aside from like some random scraps of food. But I kind of appreciate that it's there, right? I, I kind of appreciate the the hustle, so to speak, right? And same goes for all of the programmed NPCs and all that, right? Appreciate that. And it seems like they, they've got even more intricate bits of planning and pathing compared to Oblivion, right? Like, like in that case, you actually see how that dude gets his supplies and all that, right? Very neat. We we remarked on this in Oblivion, didn't we? How how it's very neat that you can see farmland in in these games, like where these cities get all of their produce and all of that from, right? You've got like the, the guar ranches, the Ashiam farms. Oh, fuck me. Jeez. Fucking saber tooth cat right there. <laughs> Good God, man. Is he coming after me or was it peace loving? Oh, it may have been a peace loving cat. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> Really, really nice how they have that. And then, yeah, like, um, in, in Oblivion Land, when we were running around there. Oh, shit, speaking of running around, there's something going on over there for sure. I may skip out on that. I'm not, I'm not too sure about going over there, right? We've got a lot of traveling ahead of us. Perhaps we should hold off. Oh, you know what? Where's the, um, where's the Meridia quest lead us to? Maybe we should do that just as well. Jeez, what time of day is it? Oh, my God. I totally waited for, like, the absolute worst moment. Holy shit. Good God, I thought we were, like, in the early morning. I completely did it incorrectly. Oh my gosh, well, we're in real deep shit now. <laughs> you know what? We survived the blizzard. It's fine. We survived the blizzard. We can do anything. We're unstoppable. What, a little bit of snow is gonna, like, hurt me? <laughs> Please. Come on! This isn't even like the highest mountain we've ever been on. We've been further deeper into the snowy areas. <laughs> this is just asking for trouble. All right, oh, look at this. Hey, here's some fucking standing stones and a half for you, right? But yeah, like like I was talking about the the um, the what do you call it? The wine, the grape uh, farms, and all that for the all the wine that you get in. Oh shit. Man, maybe we should have gone in there. I don't know. But all of the, the grapes and, and all that in Oblivion. Yeah, there's there's just tons of farms in Oblivion in Cyrodiil. Really cool. All right. Let's head on over here. Appreciate the farms. Oh, look. There it is on our doodar up top. Let's run on over there and grab that. Some sort of Daedric shrine, right? Right over there. It's fine. It's treacherously cold. We're in combat with something, probably a terrible bear or saber cat. It's fine. All right. You know what? Hey, this works out. Us arriving at Morthal in the middle of the night. It's kind of fitting if you think about it. Oh, jeez. We're getting a little fucked up here. All right. Where's it at? Oh, shit. Somebody help. What? Why do no, these bandit wait, thugs want help? Oh, no. It's a surprise. Okay. Let's get him. Ilya, I don't know where you are, but it would be nice if you were here right now. Let's do a quick save. Let's see. Let us... We may as well stew it up. Boom. Oh, shit. My stew did not restore me? Oh, look. Huh, why didn't it give me any, uh... Any food? Oh, God. Maybe I need to do another install of the of the patch or whatever it's called, right? Oh, the Creation Club patch. That's got to be it. Oh, that must be it. Ooh, that sucks. All right, at least we get the the buff, right? <laughs> that would really suck if we didn't get the buff. Oh my gosh. It's because I claimed one of the new armors and stuff that went for free. There's another one. Man, I'm just gonna collect them all for free at some point here, huh? That, that's, that feels like what I'm building up to, doesn't it? Man, I love free. Oh, shit. There we go. Fuck him up. There we go. Get the healing. Who else is up and around here? Let's get some shielding as well. Good. 
more healing, while we're checking out this bod. Anything on you that I should grab? Let's see, value to weight ratio, let's take the hat. Boom. Everyone loves hats. Do a quick save. There's some foul bastard over here just as well. Here, you know what? I should take this right in the middle of this combat. Yeah. That's smart, right? That's real fucking smart. Look at me. I'm a genius. Those under the sign of the Lord are more resistant to both magicka and physical damage. You may only have one sign blessing at a time. I accept it. Oh, fuck. All right. We're fine. <laughs> yeah. Complete immunity. It worked for once. Ugh. There we go. Jeez. Oh my god, I'm getting a little fucked up here. Now we did craft up some potions in between just as well. Thank goodness. Yo, this horse is going buck wild. Oh my god, I think I even hit the horse and now I've got like horse aggro. Jeez. Where's this dude at? Oh fuck, Frodo is down. Okay. Kree! Kree! Oh my god! It's the fucking Wildlife Preservation Society! Jeez, what are- No! What are they doing here? Oh, they're mad! Why was that one called a bandit thug? Was it because Frodo was landing hits? Oh shit! Let's see. Ice form, baby. You're a frosty creature, but perhaps you are still susceptible to its power. Yes, you are. God. Oh my God. Whew. Okay. Let's get some healing. <laughs> Wonderful. Fuck it up, Frodo. Yo, fuck. Oh my god, dude, this thing is like ferocious as shit. Okay, healing. Back here. I'm just gonna like smack its booty a little bit. Uh -oh. I've incurred its wrath. There we go. Frodo? Come to me! There we go. Man, look at Ilya. She's getting some good fucking hits. Too bad it's a snow bear. Oh, jeez. Why do you gotta, why you gotta come after me? This bear is smart. It knows about Frodo's power. Oh, there we are. Man, how did I get warm there? What warmed me up? All right, let's see. Yeah, man, you know if they planned ahead for um, survival mode? That totally seems like something. Oh, this campfire, right. But that totally seems like something that would be in the game, is whenever you've killed, like, two people within a short period of time, you'll get, your, you'll get like, hot-blooded. You'll have, like, adrenaline or something, and that'll war keep you a little bit warmer or something like that. Maybe not necessary. Maybe it'll tick you down one tick of being cold. Maybe it would do that. But it wouldn't be, like, a big permanent thing, right? <laughs> but it, it would be, like, a little boon for getting, like, some sort of kill streak, right? I know um, Fallout 4 had some sort of adrenaline system where if you did not go to sleep for a bit, you would have extra damage in combat following a series of kills. I think you'd also get, like, action point regen, stuff like that. It was kind of neat. There we go. And let's see here. Magic. What do I have active now? Let's see. How much shit do I get? Yeah, 50 armor rating, magic of resist by 25%. That's gonna be so good. All right, what a boom. What a fucking boom. I don't know how much 40 armor is right now relative to how much we have, right? Like, who even knows? In fact, who even knows how much armor I have right now? How do I even tell? How do I, <laughs> how do I even tell? Where is that stat located? Surely I don't have to do the, the math manually. Do I? How do I find out what my total armor rating is? Combat? No? Yo, what? It ain't here! How do I- Oh, there we go. Okay, I just have to mouse over the 
Okay, the apparel section, gotcha. So we're at 387, and I'm assuming that's including the the good new shit, right? The buff that we just got. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could mouse over this and it would give you a tooltip of like, yeah, this is equivalent to X percent physical damage reduction, right? And then if you hovered over that, it just straight up told you the formula that it uses. Would love that. Would love that. Okay. Let's get our keister on over to Morthal. Let's actually, yeah, let's place a marker at Morthal. There we go. Let's experience some weird fucked up shit, right? All right. Let's see. Oh, God. What's the best route to get down from here? Let's see. Oh, is it over here? Down this way? This, like, sp spindly, curving road. Let's do it, man. I'm ready. Okay. This way. Surprised this horse was still here, you know? They usually really just fuck off completely. All right. Good, good, good. Oh, hey, some ore is here. Should we get that real quick? We'll probably lose the horse, but you know what? It might be worth it for the ore. Let's see. Equip the pick. What is this? Oh, Karunda. Like the worst kind. Oh, look, this horse is quite slow. Ooh! There we go. Yoink! Gotcha. Oh, you know what? It was worth it for the emerald. Does Corundum actually have, like, a higher chance of you getting some kind of rare material? Maybe? All right. Let's see. Over this way. Isn't old Lord Dagon out this way? Maybe is Lord Dagon that, um, Daedric Shrine icon that we saw? I think so. But don't you get Lord Dagon's quest not at the shrine? I think that's the case, right? Here, speaking of which, let us track... Let's see, what is it even called? The Break of Dawn? There we go. Yeah, let's see, where is that located at? Isn't that out here? This yeah! Wow, okay, so once we finish up with the horn, we'll head over to Solitude, and then we'll go, uh... finally do Meridia's quest all the way out here. What a great fucking plan of action. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, look. Is this more ore? Oh, my God. I gotta get that corundum. Holy shit. Who is that down there? There's a bunch of people. Hopefully, they're not coming for me. It didn't look like it. Looked like they were going the other way. There we go. Good. Is that all of it? I think so. Okay. Too bad we can't ask Ilya to just go, like, use her witch speed to go catch up to the horse. Whoa, what the fuck happened? They went inside, yo! What? What is this place? Should we go in here? What? They all went in! What the fuck is this place? Oh, we're going in. Oh, we're going in. Alright, change of plans. We have to go in and see why they all went in. What the fuck? Who's in here? Oh my god, it's some kind of, like, super beast zone. Ace! There we go. <laughs> Eat shit. Okay. Let's get, uh, Frodo out. Boom! Let's get some shielding. Wonderful. Oh, Shazbot. Okay, okay, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, smack it. What? Oh, shit. There we go. We're fine. Oh my god, it's going to fuck me up. All right. Hey, we got a level up at least. Oh shit, whoops. My bad, we are well fed though. There we are. Oh God. Oh, I hope there's no one down here. I can't see through my healing spell. Okay. There we go. Wonderful. Do we have any soul gems for this fucking thing? I don't know. Let's do a quick save. It kind of paws at him sometimes, like a little kitty cat playing with like a toy or something, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? There we are. Good. Let's turn the lights on as well. Have you got wolf a pelt? 
There we are. Good job, Frodo. You've done fucking great work. Still, it's a snowy b bunch of creatures, but... Hey, I appreciate it. Illy is, is just over here, like, disappearing in front of our very eyes. Up to her usual witch magic. Now she's, oh. like, clogging up the artery. Alright, there we go, Ilya. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright. What have we got over here? Anything? This is a crypt, but what sort of crypt is it? Is this going to be, like, some kind of Vamp Zone 500? Or are we about to find, like, a whole bunch of zombos? There we are. Shoot that out. Anything back around here? Not in particular. Okay. Get Frodo. Boom. Loving it. Oh, God! Oh! Get the fuck away from me, dude! Jeez! I'm about to creep. Creep! Alright, ice form. Ah! Oh my god, it was so fast! It like shot its whole bot into me. Alright. Vigorous healing. There we go. Oh god, what happened to me? I like teleported. Illy is using her witch's magic on me as well. Alright. Let's also see if we can soul trap it, lest we forget. Oh, you know what? Let's also do whoops, not enough. That's fine. Oh god. <laughs> Look at it go! <laughs> with its little paw. <laughs> Looks pretty goofy. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Jeez. Okay, I guess we'll take all of that. Why not? Let's turn the lights back on over here. Good. We are a bit chilled. A steel sword of arcing. Do we have of arcing? Yes, we do. What is the value to weight ratio? 28. It's okay. We'll hold on to it. Let's see. This thing rigged to blow? Nope, looks fine. Oh, some ebony arrows. You know, we're just gonna take everything in there. An urn filled with some goodies, actually. Okay. Magicka and stamina over here. Here, Ilya, take right some of this you. weird stuff. What do you want me to carry? How about this weapon? Good. And these ebony arrows, an iron arrow, why not? Corundum ore. All these pelts as well. Good. Thank you, Illy. Lead on. Oh, okay. Let's go on over here. Can I resurrect, like, a cat friend? Let's see. What is my raise revenant or whatever on? Six. Okay. Ah. Oh, yes! Thundercats! Ho, oh, baby! Oh, my God. Let's fucking get them. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a whole bunch of ruined books. Okay. This... This tomb? Oh, my gosh. This is where all the ancient Nords buried people who just hated reading. Oh, my God. They did not get any Pizza Club points and get their free Pizza Hut pizza. Their free personal pan. <laughs> I think that's a very... That's very specific to America, I think. <laughs> Jeez, how do we get in deeper here? What is this? Look! I cannot enter! How do I... How do I do? What? Where did those three people go? Is this like a Mage's Guild thing? Is that what... Is that why there were the books? Is this some wizard shit? Dude, this might be some wizard shit. Alright, let's get out of here. I think we just uncovered, like, a wizard's tomb. Oh no, the worst wizards of all, the ones that really hate reading. Oh jeez, they hate it so much they just decide to burn books. They thought, Oh, we want to be the only fucking wizards in town! We'll wield these powerful ancient magics! Fuck everybody else! We're taking it! We're gonna read them and then burn them. Ha 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 ha! Now no one will learn our secrets. <laughs> Good God! What a bunch of devious bastards! Oh jeez, it is quite cold looking out here. There we go. Let's see over here. Head on over to the left there, right? All right. Good, good, good. 
take all these things. Should we like Skyrim our way down or should we take the appropriate proper path? Like a good adventurer. You know what? Let's see what the proper path is. Cause so often I take the uh I take the Skyrim route. Gosh. Yo dude, like how <laughs> Fuck, I really want to go the Skyrim route. Okay. But you know what? Hey, this playthrough has been good for a few things. And one of them has been seeing shit that we hadn't seen in our normal play. Right? And one of those things Ace! is going Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at it go! Ilya, great job! Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, a woman after my own heart. <laughs> that is kind of, like, poor thing. But also, kind of funny. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Going over here. On the left here. Good, good, good. All right, there is some sort of weird building here just as well. Oh, that's for the... Okay, I remember what that's for and why that is giving off a plume of smoke. We are not prepared for that, so we'll hold off for that. That's for the big uh, vampire expansion, right? Okay. What's... Oh, shit, is this a mammoth zone right here? Yeah, it is. Oh, fuck. Yo, who, who are these people? Are they raiding them? Ugh! No, they're raiding me! Oh! Save me, giants and mammoths! Save me! Are they not here? Oh, there is a mammoth. Tell you what, you start Ooh. running so I can stab you in the back. Wait, this guy might be easy. That said, he's got two-hander. He does have a two-hander. Whoop! Eat shit, man! Oh yeah, he was so easy. Wow. Holy fuck. Bandit thug. Look at him run! Look at him run like a little man. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> fuck him up! Ooh, fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Don't mind me. Oop, grabbing your shrooms. Grabbing your 41 Gs. <laughs> this is scary. All right. Taking your snowberries. Looking through your ribs. Cheese bowl. Love it. Give me that cheese. Is there anything else around here? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, okay. Yo, what if I freeze a giant? What if I freeze a giant? Where's the giant at? Is he just gonna like fall over like a fucking cedar tree or whatever? Let's see. Whoop. Oh fuck. It's still recharging. Hang on. Ilya, don't kill him yet. Let's preemptively get Frodo out because this might be a fucking rumble and a half. Okay. There we go. Let's fucking knock this giant ass giant over. <laughs> Watch this, Ilya. Oh, hang on. Let me equip my... Yeah, I've still got my Amulet of Zenithar on. Okay, whoops. Let's equip that. Do we have an Amulet of Screaming? No. Okay. Look at this, Ilya! <laughs> Get him! Get him! Get him! Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Oh, shit. Uh-oh. 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 Ilya! Oh, God! Goofa! <laughs> How's Frodo doing over there? Frodo is tangoing with that mammoth and is not going very well at all. Oh, my God. Here's a question. Did I stow away my grand soul gems? Oh, shit, I did. I totally did. And guess what? That greater soul gem I just found? I put a fox soul inside of it. Man, maybe I should run from these guys, huh? Oh, shit! Jeez! <laughs> I think we should. <laughs> There's nothing here for us. There's nothing here. Let's just go to Morthal. Oh, my God. Abort the mission. Ilya, Ilya, abort, abort. Mission abort. Let's go over this way. We're getting plenty cold just as well. It's not worth it. I'm at, like, 75, 66% health as well from the biting cold. All right, I think we're we're in the clear. I mean, Ilya maybe not so much, but hey, she can she can like wizard witch broom her way out of there. It's fine. <laughs> All right, cool, great. <laughs> I'd call that a success. What's this? Oh, some iron ore. Oh, don't mind if I do. Do I have my pick bound? Yes, I do. Great. 
There we are. Nice. Okay. War axe at the ready. Jeez. Maybe we'll, like, freeze our ass off out here. The fuck was that? What is that? Is that a wolf? No, okay. It's just a regular wolf. Let's see, what is that over there? Is that, um... Oh, shit. Whoa, what was that? What was that noise? Was that the sound effect of me having insufficient charge? I had no idea. All right. Yeah, that's... That leads to Blackreach, doesn't it? I think so. Oh my god, we are freezing our ass off so bad! Holy hell! Will I even make it to the... to the fun zone, or what? Jeez, I'm gonna, like, die out here! I guess it is really windy right now. Right? It is, like, legit... blizzarding my whole ass. Okay. We can do it, though. We can make it. What's over here? Man, I can't even hardly see. I'm so fucking cold. I should have had the torch out for just a little bit of extra warmth, right? Okay. <gasps> Speed on over this way. Good. Oh, gosh. Yeah, at least we're getting some snowberries. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing, right? Oh, look. There's some sort of bear paw here. Maybe there'll be a fire. Holy shit, I'm so cold, I can't- I'm, like, numb. I can't even move, dude! Oh, Ilya! Save me! <laughs> oh, God, Ooh. man. I've become frostbitten from the cold. Oh, jeez, my heart is, like, beating intensely. I'm so frozen out here. I can't even Skyrim my way up this now. Ilya, please! Oh, God. Oh, I'm gonna try and get to that paw <gasps> and hope it's something nice. Isn't that like a... Yeah, that's a... Stormcloak camp, right? Holy shit, will I make it in time? Uh, go, 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 go! Fuck! Oh, my God. Look at me running slow! In slow mode! Holy shit, it's coming down to the fucking wire! Boom! Oh no! Whoa. I thought I was about to die from the fall! Oh my god. Oh shit, there's some fire! Oh my god! Please! Please! Stormcloaks, I'm about to fucking die! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Wait, it's, it's not warming me up. Oh god, how close do I need to get? There we go. Whew. If you know any true Yo, what if I caught on fire and fell over dead? <laughs> that would have been so fucking funny. <laughs> Just in trying to get closer to it. <laughs> oh my gosh, a popsicle man has emerged out of the woods. <sighs> oh, thank goodness this camp was here. <laughs> we came so close to dying. Oh, we, we are frostbitten, though. What does that do? That seems real bad. Bows do 30% less damage. Lockpicking and pickpocketing. Harder for 24 hours. Eh, we've had worse. That's not too bad. Thank goodness we don't use bows, though. Eh, charred skeever hide. Alright, well, we're just gonna warm up here for a bit. Get nice and, and toasty right on top of their their campfire. Yeah, y'all, this is, um... <laughs> Have y'all ever left Skyrim before? This is a, a Morrowind tradition here. A lot of Dunmeri folks do this when it gets very cold. We just, you know, we channel our ancestral fire resistance and we just, you know, pop a squat right on top of some fire. <laughs> we call it the, the Red Mountain Special. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> there we go. Look at this, man. Everything is coming back in color. Things are a lot more colorful than I thought that they were. <laughs> Whew. Jeez. All right, Ustengrav right over there. But should we hit up Morthal first? I'm thinking we hit up Morthal, right? All right, good. 
cool, cool, cool. Okay, I think we're fully restored. Great. Okay, well, let's just take one of these horses. Free shit. All right. Whoop. See ya. Appreciate it, everybody. Whoop. Oh, God. Let's see. <laughs> Head on over this way. Good. Ilya, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Don't worry about him. It's not worth it. Oh, look. Dawn is breaking. Finally get a little warmth, maybe. Are the swamps warm? I don't know. Are they at least neutral, perhaps? God, I hope so. You'd have to expect that they're at least, like, roughly equivalent to the area around, like, northwestern White Run, right? Yeah, look, there's some green on these trees. It can't be that. Well, these ones are pretty fucked up. <laughs> All right. Oh. Thank goodness. Well, now we've arrived in the fantastic, wonderful, peaceful town of Morthal, where everything is just right as rain. <laughs> uh, right over here. Oh, what are these beautiful plants that could be like a good omen of our arrival here? And friendly mud crab as well to greet me? Wow. Look, this place is full of delights and wonders. There we go. Look, here, should I do a clever maneuver and get a level in this? Oh, God! These crabs have power! Okay. <laughs> Let us... Oh, shit, shit, shit. Let's eat a salmon steak. And you know what? Here, let's... Let's be a wild-ass man. And just ice these fucking crabs. Eek, smadoosh! Ah! Whoa, these crabs have real power. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are these, like, indestructible crabs? Okay, there we go. Whoa! Did it fly off into the sky? Oh, they're death bells. Great. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's take some of the crab chitin. Weird that the crab chitin can be used in alchemy, but not the charis chitin. What's up with that? Hey, where did that crab fly off to? For real. <laughs> what the fuck happened there? <laughs> what was that? Huh. Alright. Fair enough. Well, let's not cross into the deep zone here of the water, right? Huh. There we go. Let's do a quick save here. Wonderful. Alright. <sighs> hey everyone, is this... Morthal of the fun swamps and everything. Man, they've got a lot of death bell out here, huh? Whew, jeez. There is a whole lot. I thought it was just one little patch, but I forgot. This place is crawling with death bell. <laughs> Let's head on into town. <laughs> All right. Hey there, friend. Are we? We're not wanted here, are we? We might be. Hey. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Hmm. Yeah, it's very, very quiet here. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, I forgot they have the town meeting going on and all that. All right. Ooh, some woot root. There we are. What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. Man, I remember when I first came here and almost thought that they were talking about me because my character was definitely a wizard and looks straight up like a wizard. All right, let's take all this. Let's have some words. What's up, everyone? What's what's going on with this wizard talk? Unless it's about the mill. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. What isn't the Jarl dealing with? You seemed upset about something. The world's going mad, and our Jarl does what? She hides inside with her visions. We need a leader, not some mystic. Hmm. Yeah. Visions in the world of the Elder Scrolls? <laughs> what a load of bullshit. 
<laughs> that stuff never happens, huh? Visions, prophetic visions. <laughs> Sounds like a bunch of hooey. <laughs> you don't trust the Jarl? How can I? She never speaks with us. She has allowed this wizard, Falcon, to live in our midst practicing gods know what. And now there's talk of rebellion and dragons? What help could Idgrud be against them? No. We can only rely on ourselves. You do well to remember that. I mean, to be fair, what the fuck are you going to do against a dragon, man? <laughs> what are you going to do? Throw your beard at it? Come on. <laughs> what isn't the Jarl dealing with? Trust you saw the house that burned down. Peculiar bit of business that was. And that's on top of noises from the marsh in the night. Tales of monsters. Now this wizard in our mist. What's a man to do if he can't look to his Jarl for help? Hmm. Okay. I mean, that said, that All would right, be then. pretty fucking wild. If you engaged in combat with some dude, he runs out screaming, pulls out like a dirk or something. He pulls out a dirk. <laughs> what a fantasy. Fucking, you only ever hear that in fantasy, huh? He pulls out the dirk, chops off his beard, throws it at you, hollering, yelling, and he runs off. My gosh. You've taken morality damage or, or your morale damage. Your morale has been damaged. <laughs> You flee instantly. It's illusion magic. This beard has been enchanted with illusion... Uh, what do you call it? Demoralization. Sonier, what's up? Did you already throw your beard at someone? Keep your wits about you. Morthal's hardly a safe place. Gosh, you should have seen over there in the mountains, though. Jeez, came out here to get the Lord Stone. Hey, there's a child running about. Surely it can't be that dangerous. You're different, aren't you? Not like anyone else. Not in Morthal or Skyrim. Hmm. You talking about me being a Dunbar? I don't know. Hey, what's up, Lamy? If you need any alchemy supplies, I'll do my best to provide them. Oh. Assuming I haven't used them all up. Yeah, this is, doesn't she come into play in some way? How long have you studied alchemy? I picked up the trade when I was a girl. One of the temple healers staying here on a pilgrimage showed me the basics. She had a book with her. Song of the Alchemists, that I used to read over and over. I miss having a copy. Oh, shit. Uh, if I find a copy, I'll bring it to you. I think I had one at, at Breezehelm. Really? I'd be happy to show you a bit about herbs if you find the book. Okay. Neat. Wow, cool. Do you have a hard time getting supplies way out here? I mean, solitude isn't too far. No, no. Well, sometimes, but that's not the problem. I can't stop eating I just them. often don't have much to do, so I tend to try things out. Yo! They don't usually work, <laughs> but I try. Next thing I know, I've used up most of my stock. <laughs> I don't usually have much to do, so I just fucking start smoking this shit. <laughs> Gosh, got all high on Death Bell the, the last week. Gosh, mix some Death Bell and giant lichen together. Whoo, fuck me. Jeez, I don't fucking see some of Yzmir's beard, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, illusory magic, fuck me. Good day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go on over. Oh, look. Hey, what do you have to say? Do you like magic? Thalion says I'm good at learning. I like learning about magic. Oh my god, she's a witch. Verkmund? Have you seen my mother? I'm still waiting for her to come home. Ooh. All right. Let's see, who is this? Jeez, there's a lot of fucking children here. What the fuck? Huh. Hey, what's up? Edgrud the Younger? Please don't mind Yorick. He's not mad. Really, he's not. What's wrong with Yorick? My brother is... sensitive. He has trouble focusing his attention on things. We were taking him to the Temple of Kinnereth in Whiterun, just so the healers could make sure he was in good health. And they say he's fine. Are you heading to Whiterun? Could you take this letter to the priestess, Danica Pure Spring? Oh shit! It's a note about Yorick's health. Yeah, I I know Danica. Yeah, I'd be glad to help. Thank you. Until next. Where time. is Yorick? You know, I've got like I don't know, like sixty points in alchemy. Maybe I should check him. I've got. I mean, I think I've got like fifty points in restoration. Shit. All right. Also, I'm the Dragonborn. <laughs> There's got to be some sort of like <laughs> religious symbolism there. Also, I love taking chicken's eggs. Shit, what's that to love? Where is Yorick at? Who's this? Lamy? Oh. Thaumaturgist's hut? Or, er, Thaumaturgist. 
right? Yeah, that's how you say that, right? I'm not, like, tripping balls, am I? Okay. Well, he's not in here, is he? She's selling some stuff. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> Her two best friends. Oh, I love it. All right. Anyone up here? Hey, where's Yorick at? Oh, look. <laughs> Wouldn't it be wild if she had the, uh, the... The Song of the Alchemists up here. <laughs> I could just take it back down to her. A whole, uh, just like with the revelers. What the fuck? People of Skyrim, huh? Damn. Okay. Down here. Yeah, some free shit. Hey, hands off! Whoa! She saw me somehow. Okay. Oh my god. committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Where will I go? Where, where will I go? Where will you put me? Hmm. Do they have a jail in Morthal? Where do I even go? Let's find out. Let's find out. Just out of curiosity's sake. We'll quick load this. I guess you're smarter than you look. Where do I go? Where am I? Morthal has a jail? Really? Holy shit, I had no clue. Okay, well, there it is. Okay, well, you know, am I naked? Yeah, I am completely naked. Great. Man, I was totally hidden for sure, though. Let's see. Weird that they put these things in here for me to also steal. <laughs> right? Weird that this is considered stealing. This should just be mine. All right. Let's see. Do I have, like, some sort of secret that I can use in here? Is this my poop bucket? Is there a secret key or something? No, there's not. Anything, like, out of place or whatever? Hmm. Secret basket full of apples. I'll take all those. Eat them up. Another bucket. No secret shit. Alright, fine. Huh. Man, if only I had some, like, telekinesis, huh? Okay. Well, let's give it a shot, I guess. Oh, maybe this. Why is there a weird, creepy-ass skeever in here? Ooh. Okay, let's get out. Oh, that was easy enough. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, hey! Whoa! Hey, I'm in here! Whoa! Hey, I'm in here! I'm in here! Whoa! Hey! 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 hey. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> all right. <laughs> no need for wizards in our midst. Oh God! We're all the way back Mortal here, huh? Has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to a den. Where is this Yorick dude at? Is he one of them? No, he's really not. Okay, weird. Let's exhaust Keep their your stuff. Keep wits real quick. about you. Morthal's hardly a safe place. Unless it's about Beard the man. Trust you saw the house that burned down. Peculiar bit of business that was. And that's on oh, top of what? noises from the marsh in the night, tales of monsters. And now this wizard in our mist. Did he What's mention a man the house? To do at if first? he can't look to his yard for help. I guess he did. I was too busy thinking about his fucking beard. <laughs> you seemed upset the about world's something. world's going mad, and our Jarl does what? She hides inside with her visions. You don't trust How the Jarl. There we she go. She never speaks. Yep, 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 and yep, now yep. there's talk of... No. We can only rely on ourselves. All right. We do right. well to remember that. Cool. Until Great. Well, I suppose when next we come back, we will get reacquainted with some of the folks here in Morthal, and... We'll do the fun Morthal quest, right? We'll get reacquainted and just plain old acquainted with a lot of the folks that we have yet to meet, right? Okay, cool. And this time we won't steal like a health potion or whatever and get caught and sent to jail. <laughs> Maybe once we leave, once we decide to depart Morthal, right? But for now, eh. <laughs> Okay. If you'd like to stick around, however, we will of course be doing a little bit of reading. Let's see, what do we have that we can read this time? Well, how about Dunmer of Skyrim, right? Seems very fitting of a book to do a little reading on. Let's see. 
right over here. The Dunmer of Skyrim by Athol Saris. Dunmer, that is our name, yet you deny us even this courtesy. You, the white-skinned, jaundice-haired apes of this godforsaken frozen wilderness. <laughs> Whoa! To you, Nords, we are the Grey Ones, the ashen-skinned, the dark elves of Morrowind, who have as much place in your land as an infection in an open wound. Oh yes, we have read your great cultural work, Nords of Skyrim, in which you extol the many virtues of your people and province and invite any visitors to come experience your homeland for themselves. Well, come we did, Nords, and the reception was less than was promised, but exactly what we expected. <laughs> Man, I think we even referenced that at the end of reading that one, right? That there there wasn't uh, nearly as much hospitality as uh, that book led on to people, readers to believe. So I, Athal Saris, Dunmer, and immigrant to Skyrim, have decided to answer your beloved book with a work of my own. And you know what? It's probably justified hate. <laughs> it is definitely some degree of hate, but <laughs> they're treated like dog shit. <laughs> and let all who read it know that Nords are not the only race to reside in this cold and inhospitable realm, for we Dark Elves have come, and little by little shall claim Skyrim as our own. But where, you may ask, have we taken up residence? Why none other than the ancient city of Windhelm, once the capital of the First Empire? Yes, Nords, in the shadow of your own Palace of the Kings, where the Nord hero Ysgrimor once held court, we now thrive. Oh yes, your beloved 500 companions may have driven our ancestors from Skyrim, but that was then. This is now. Huh. Because they aren't exactly thriving there. Is this person the author, Athalseris, in the game? Are they actually in Windhelm? That would be very interesting if a Thal Saris did exist in the game and was coming on like all hot-headed and shit, being like, oh yeah, we're thriving here, or whatever the fuck, despite your, your bullshit. But in reality, people are there and they're having a really fucking tough time, right? That would be so interesting if like a Thal Saris lived in like, I don't know, solitude or some shit, right? And was doing very well for themselves. Meanwhile actual like and they're not even like a Dunmary immigrant they've lived in they're they're like from or Morrowind immigrant they're actually from like I don't know High Rock or some shit or they've lived in Skyrim in solitude for like their whole life almost something like that that would be very 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 interesting I think right because this is this is coming from someone who like thinks that they have a read on the situation but really they're just they they are they are right in that the Nords are being totally fucking shitty to a lot of the Dunmer that live in in the Grey Quarter and all of that in Windhelm. And and kind of in general in a lot of places, but not entirely, right? But um it would be fascinating if they had this sort of like twisted read on the situation that comes from them being in like a uh like a place of, of power or whatever, right? Where they're doing well off and they're trying to speak to the experiences of a more an immigrant from Morrowind and they're totally like missing the minutia and like the real ass suffering that they go through right that would be such a dope ass read on this book right if we could find a Thal Saris in like some well-to-do fucking manner right that would be so excellent I think because not only would it would it like shine a light on I'm like, yeah, the, the Nords treat a lot of these Dunmer like shit, but also some of the Dunmer still remember in the time of Morrowind, <laughs> some of the Dunmer were also shitty to one another, right? Huh. That would, I don't know. I, I feel like that would be such a, such a fascinating read on this situation. Anyway, indeed, one might be surprised as to just how well we've settled into Windhelm. The district known as the Snow Quarter is thus named no more, 
Now, they call it the Grey Quarter, for such is the reality of the Dunmer occupation. The district is now populated entirely by my kind, a victory not lost on its residents. Oh, but the peaceful occupation goes even further! Thirsty! You'll find no Nord Mead in the Grey Quarter, but the spirits flow well enough in the new nicest corner club. Seeking a respected family, you'll find no Grey Manes within these walls, but perhaps you'd like to pay a visit to the home of Belen Hlalu, descendant of one of the most noble houses in all of Morrowind. Ah, but no, you Nords don't come to the Grey Quarter, do you? You fear our streets as you fear our skin. So now, children of Skyrim, you have the truth of it. You may call this province home, but you can no sooner claim it, sooner claim to own it, than a cow can claim to own its master's field. You are just another breed of domestic animal, grazing stupidly while higher beings plot your slaughter. Wow, yeah, that would be such a great read on this book. Where, like, um... They, they, they do great work by bringing to light, like we said, uh, Nords totally, especially in Windhelm, discriminating the shit out of Dunmer immigrants and, and the Argonians and the Kishi caravan and all that shit, too. Um, they do great by doing that, but it would be such a good read on it if the author was like rich as shit living in a fucking manor, right? It, um, I watched, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the movie Knives Out recently. It almost would remind me of that. How like some of the, some of the families in, in, or some of the family members in that are openly shitty. <laughs> they're, they're honest about being pieces of shit, but then others other members of that family are are not so are pieces of shit but they're not honest about it right they they go to stab you in the back when push comes to shove right they know uh <laughs> they know that that they're a little bit uh that they they aren't experiencing the same shit as you right huh that would be such an excellent read on this situation i don't know if it's true but man i wish it were <laughs> All right. Well, when next we come back, uh, we will check out Morthal. Holy shit. It looks like such a lovely town filled with death bell everywhere growing. That's never been an ominous, bad, ill omen before. Come on. <laughs> Even though we commented on the fact of a uh, nightshade growing in peculiar areas, right? <laughs> Death Bell, that's totally different from Nightshade. Until next time, please take care of each other.